good morning everyone i'm going to start a demo session on documentum training before going to start uh, in detail with the documentum i would like to tell about myself i have more than 5 plus year of experience in documentum as well as in it industry uh, my area of expertise in the documentum content server version are the 6.8 7.1 7.2 7.3 16.4 16.7 and currently i am working on 21.4 same way uh, the application server are the easy web task space web top 6.8 6.4 16.7 and uh, d2 through the Five years of experience i have worked majorly work in the content server installation upgrade and migration on both windows and linux platform uh, apart from that i have uh, customized the web top application and currently i am working on the rest uh, and the soap services uh, which connect to the documentum so through the documentum session through the uh, whole time period i will um, cover all this uh, below topic in in the ecm overview i will uh, explain everything about the ecm the birth of ecm how it's get how the idea is comes in a pictures and how they created the documentum platform uh, then the operation of content in that i will explain all the pillars of the documentum through uh, through which it make the successful tool uh, then I will go with the architecture of documentum um, in that I will uh, explain everything by layer wise and then the documentum object type in that I will explain uh, the hierarchy of the objects how they are inter uh, uh, integrated with each others. Uh, then users and privilege how the users are added in the documentum and uh, what are the privileges are there and how the privilege uh, privileges are affected with the users then groups and role. Uh, the groups and roles comes in a picture when the when we need to provide the uh, permissions to the uh, user by application level or by the group uh, based on the object types so that uh, that can be done by the groups and roles so uh, there is very thin line uh, thin difference in between that so i will explain everything about this then the object security how to main, uh, make sure that our uh, recorded content is secure and uh, who can visible that uh, that everything uh, i will explain in object security then the searching searching is the um, uh, it's the difficult part in the documentum because as we know the documentum is a uh, unstructured data so it's really very difficult to uh, to do the searching on unstructured data uh, so that i will explain how uh, it's going to be happen and what are the um, uh, different tools integrated with the searching and uh, how they are configured through the da then the documentum project i will cover um, the my documentum uh, uh, the projects which i have worked and how they are uh, behave um, that i will explain everything so that in the industry you will not suffer anything uh, then the custom object type uh, in the custom how uh, whenever you are going to create anything new in the documentum you have to create uh, custom object type so based on that your uh, content will be the survey in documentum and to make the custom object type uh, referable we have to do the business object framework uh, so that also i will going to explain then the workflow and life cycle um, uh, uh, this is also one of the important uh, topic in the documentum so uh, i will cover everything about that then the alias virtual document dictionary and taxonomy dictionary and taxonomy is majorly used in d2 not in the easy web task space or web top so uh, how the uh, how uh, how we can make it uh, uh, so the dictionary and taxonomy make it uh, easier to to do the development and to make the customer uh, feel easy so today i am going to cover the documentum architecture so the documentum architecture is split into the four part one is the foundation layer then the repository layer which is nothing but the application services then the uh, uh, application layer uh, which is nothing but the experience layer which is the end end layer of the tool and um, then the uh, development layer then uh, in that uh, we are going to cover how uh, what are the different tool uh, through which we can do the customization in the documentum so I will go with the bottom-up approach. Uh, so on the bottom, as I said, it's a foundation layer. In that, the uh, we have to fix the foundation of the documentum. So in that, we have to uh, uh, 
create the infrastructure of the repository uh, so as we all know the repository is a uh, is a part of uh, content server so to that we have to install the content server then we have to configure the database in our system um, then the full text index search uh, through which we uh, user are able to search the context that we have to install then the storage uh, we have to map the storage with our uh, documentum uh, repository and then the directory services uh, directory services is nothing but the location on which the documentum will be the place so that we have to make sure uh, while doing the uh, repository infrastructure setup uh, which is as nothing but the prerequisite before going to uh, install the content server then the repository uh, security services is placed in the foundation layer which is nothing but the authentication and auditing in authentication there are the four ways uh, through which we uh, user will able to log in into the system that is i think uh, one uh, the first one is the os through the os there one uh, there will be one uh, data type and through which a user will directly log into the system uh, then the inline inline in the in line we have to provide the password to the user and then user will able to log in uh, then yeldap yeldap is nothing but the active directory group is there which is centralized into the organization and through which user are able to um, log in into the uh, documentum platform and then the last one is nothing but the sso so sso is the nothing but the single sign on so just one click uh, the uh, system uh, the documentum cache the user password and based on that it will automatically log into the machine and the auditing auditing is nothing uh, is uh, really helpful when uh, when uh, we have to monitor the our system so for that perspective the auditing is required uh, then the layer will be the repository layer so the repo in the repository layer it's uh, placed into the different part that is the compliance services in the compliant uh, services uh, the repository level provide the retention policy retention policy is nothing but the uh, uh, make sure that the repository that the document will be just placed into the system for how much period so based on the business requirement uh, we have to define the period and through the life cycle uh, that the over the period uh, that document will automatically delete so that it will save the space uh, uh, in that perspective then the record manager uh, so the how the record is going to manage and how uh, how it will be the invoke through the life cycle or the workflow uh, so that going to be managed through here then the content services content services is nothing but the it provide the different services uh, over the content like the rendition services the rendition will make sure that the document will be the available for multiple format like the pdf uh, so, uh, pdf excel uh, jpg format suppose i have inserted a document in the excel format uh, and um, one of my team member want to want that document in pdf so the as per the business requirement it will automatically convert that document into the pdf and then it's placed into the uh, st um, that uh, content storage then the workflow and life cycle the workflow workflow in the workflow mm, the movement of content from one person to another person uh, that happened in that uh, it's like the delegate we can uh, just pass that document and ask him uh, ask him or her to to validate that document and based on that uh, we, we don't have to send any email or nothing it, it will automatically happen with the workflow and the life cycle is nothing but the movement of document through the stages so that the approval rejection these are the stages uh, stages in the life cycle then the process services process services is nothing but the collaboration services in that the uh, based on the demand we can integrate different platform into the our system so that uh, that going to be happen through the process uh, just like we can say the third party tool like the google suppose i want uh, google search in my documentum so i can integrate with that then the experience layer experience layer is nothing but the uh, client uh, layer or the end user so um, the, the, uh, through through the customization we can achieve the end uh, end end user uh, interface based on the business requirements like suppose uh, client want their uh, company logo over the login screen 
uh, so that can be achieved by the WDK framework and the, uh, the one important part is the UCF UCF is the unified content fidelity so based on the UCF whatever the content movement uh, uh, that is the download or open uh, or uh, sending from one person to another person that that everything is going to be op uh, done by the UCF uh, which is the Java based application which is automatically installed when we install the uh, document up then the development layer development layer uh, is also nothing but the tools uh, through which we can make the customization on the documentum um, back end side so uh, the uh, the the ways are the dfc dfs uh, bof that everything will explain in detail with other chapters so this is everything about the documentum uh, architecture now i am going to cover about the the course outline so in mind magic uh, mind magic documentum training provide the aspirant with the knowledge and the skill needed to be successful you will be introduced to the documentum architecture content management functionalities and the link technique and structure and application configuration you will gain the proficiency in the core essential of documentums and become career ready upon the completion stay up to date with the latest tools and techniques of the documentum by mastering uh, uh, with this certification course uh, apart from the topics, uh, I'm uh, I will going to cover the, the few topics which uh, which uh, you will get uh, get to know uh, with the experience. So I will uh, going to show how DA looks, how WebTap looks, and how D2 looks, and what are the differences with these uh, front end applications and how they are integrated with the documentum. Then the WDK architecture. Whenever whenever you uh, user anyone uh, or the client wants the customization on the web tab, they they should know the WDK architecture, uh, how it's going to be work. Mm. Uh, work when, whenever the any customization is placed with the web top uh, web top structure so that everything I am going to cover with the WDK architecture and add-on services and the SSO so add-on services are the one of the key component in the documentum through which we can make our application uh, more secure and uh, provide the different services like the retention policy make the uh, make the uh, our application available in different uh, languages like the french italian um, in that way uh, and the sso sso the single sign on functionality that we have to configure by externally um, so there are also the two uh, two ways to implement the sso that everything i am going to cover also i will going to show how it's going to be happen in my project then the dfc and dfs uh, i will create a session creation code and uh, i will uh, through the code i will go through how it's uh, how the communication will be the happen with the documentum uh, repository and our uh, custom code that everything i am going to cover in this topic then the with the course you will get the documentum content server webtop and d2 latest version guide uh, with uh, in that everything will be the uh, there are around seven to eight guides will be there that is the installation configuration guide uh, administration guide then the user guide so everything will be there uh, with the latest version and the course pdf uh, in the pdf uh, the theoretical parts and the mcq questions will be there in my whole experience, I have worked with the two projects. So one uh, one is the Dow Chemical. So as we know, the Dow uh, the Dow is a chemical company and it's the leading company in the America. So the Dow Chemical uses their uh, uh, uses Documentum for their enterprise content management uh, functionality. So managing the technical specifications, procedure manual of manufacturing equipment uh, maintenance etc related documents are stored into the documentum managing the business process documents uh, like the best practices standard guideline which can be shared globally for the dao operationally experience uh, then the mandiva mandiva um, um, uses documentum application for the uh, stored document for the use stock and sale vehicle by integrating with the sap so here the sap they have integrated with the documentum so by by using the rest and soap services the communication uh, will be the happen with the sap and the documentum so that uh, that also i will going to um, explain uh, uh, as add-on services uh, in that uh, everything will be there uh, uh, in the lab setup, uh, we have the high-speed internet, desktop, as well as the laptop. Mm. 
uh, with the uh, following the uh, system uh, with the following system as the Microsoft Windows 7 and above 500 GB hard disk uh, memory will be the 16 uh, GB CPU will be the 5 core. Uh, um, also, uh, with this course, we will provide the mock interviews. Uh, uh, MindMagix offers the advanced documentum interview questions and the uh, answer along with the documentum sample resume. Uh, take a free sample practice before appearing the certification to improve your chances of scoring high. These are the frequently asked questions in the documentum like what is the documentum, what is the content server, what is the doc base, uh, what will be the do uh, doc broker and so on. Uh, through this course you will get the certification uh, you can uh, apply for the certification on open tech site uh, for the documentum administration documentum business administration documentum d2 business analytics uh, so once you're done with the certification you will be um, in demand in the IT industry and uh, you can be placed in any of the leading uh, IT companies So today I am going to cover the ECM overview. Um, so ECM, ECM, uh, ECM is nothing but the enterprise content management. So when we think about the content, content it's nothing but the um, unstructured data. So, uh, so as we all know, there are the many tools like the SQL, MySQL for the uh, structured data. So structure uh, will be stored in the into the database as a key value, but for unstructured uh, unstructured is kind of anything like the text document word document or Excel document uh, audio video uh, So we can't say it's uh, unstructured anything. So to store the unstructured data we have uh, We have to store with the metadata metadata is nothing but the information about the data so uh, suppose I have put it one Excel file so the more information about the Excel, who created this Excel, when created it the Excel, when it's modified. So everything, this information will be stored into the um, database and the content uh, will be stored into the storage directory of the documentum. So this is how the content and metadata will be the related with the documentum. So this this is the basic fundamental or uh, the basic funda of uh, of the creation of documentum tool. So uh, when we install the documentum, the first point will come in a picture is the repository. So repository is used to manage the both content and its metadata, uh, which is stored into the file system and the database. So um, so uh, the repository is uh, stored into the documentum and uh, and the content and metadata which will be the stored into the repository then the content server content server contain the application content server bring the storage content metadata to the life and manages content server manages the multiple repository uh, if there are uh, and one uh, if there are one or more repository then it will be uh, one will be the global repository so the uh, the uses of global repository so uh, whenever we customize the code and which which is apply for uh, all the repository so through the global repository we can install all over it we don't have to copy uh, the code for every every repository so the code reusability happened to the content server as a global repository so there are the five pillars uh, for the content uh, content manage uh, for the documentum so one is the content management uh, management services content management services primarily deal with the storage retrieval versioning data dictionary assembly publishing and the search functionality content server uses an object oriented mo model uh, store the everything as an object in the repository it provide apis for mon managing the content and the metadata together Data dictionary stored the information about the object type in the repository. The data dictionary can be altered by addition of the user defined object type and the properties. Virtual document. Uh, virtual document is nothing but the linking of multiple uh, contents uh, in, in a single file. So uh, to uh, into a large document. Content server also provide the indexing and the search capability which included the ability to search within the content and the third party search provide the uh, to the installation then the process management services is the second pillar process management features included the workflow and life cycle workflow typically represent the business process and the model event uh, event oriented applications um, and the life cycle uh, defined the business rule that can be applied to the different type of the document 
then the security uh, services no, a repository uses access control list nothing but the acls um, also known as the permission set as a security mechanism by default content server provide a robust uh, accountability compatibility via the auditing tracing and the electronic signature accountability features help identify causes of specified system behavior auditing can be track operations such as the check in check out that can be configured uh, to the audit trail can be provide uh, detailed runtime information useful for identifying the cause of certain behavior and troubleshooting the issues electronic signature can uh, enforce the sign off of business process a sign off is the analog to a signature on paper and it is a way of author authorizing or approving a decision electronically distribution services uh, a single repository distributed uh, configuration content is distributed across um, all the site all the configured repository to access the uh, multiple repository in a multiple repository distribution configuration content and metadata are distributed across all the uh, participating uh, repositories add-on services uh, add-on services is nothing but the uh, add-on services provide the uh, trusted content services like uh, nothing but the tcs which provide the additional security features mm, uh, then the content services for the mm, ecm uh, centra and support uh, uh, support for the central storage for uh, guaranteed retention and the immutability so through the mm, uh, through the content services we can add the multiple storages like the sc3 um, or the uh, we can uh, put uh, add the separate storage uh, if it's the linux platform then it's uh, easy to add the uh, one of the storage uh, then the content storage services enable the use of content and the migration policy which automate the assignment of content to various storage areas CSS is nothing but the content storage services can be used to optimizing the uses of storage infrastructure in enterprise CSS also provide the features for the content uh, compression and duplication Retention policy services is nothing but the RPS so enable the policy to manage the life cycle of the object stored into the repository So as I told um, in the architecture uh, demo um, in that um, the retention policy uh, so based on the period the uh, the document will be the uh, removed from uh, from the system so uh, there is a job uh, which run through the life cycle uh, the life cycle is used to check the uh, check the life of that document so uh, if it's over the period then it automatically removed from the system then the internationalization internationalization is nothing but the make the app or application for the different la uh, languages and other regional differences by default uh, documentum is in english language so to make it um, uh, to make it internationalized uh, internationalization uh, we have to install the uh, jars uh, for a specific country or the specific language like for the french italian spanish um, uh, so uh, these uh, for these the jars will be available on open tech site you have to download and then you have to place on the application site uh, for that they have provided the all the infra, uh, installation guide um, so uh, by following the steps you will get to know how how this can be happen so uh, the third parameter uh, in the documentum is the dog broker so dog broker is nothing but the mediator uh, is act like the bridge uh, to connecting the uh, application server uh, uh, to, uh, to uh, application server and the content server uh, when we install the content server uh, at the time the dog broker is installed it exposes the repository information connect using the session uh, so for that uh, the session uh, to to uh, to complete the session there uh, there will be one dfc.property file as a, on both application server and the content server uh, and based on the uh, based on the dfc.property file the it identify the dog broker and once the dog broker is identified it automatically populate the repository uh, those are installed with the documentum and there uh, there will be server.ini file on the content server so based on the server.ini file uh, uh, you will get the details of the dog broker or the repository related any information so um, when the content server is up and running uh, it informed the dog broker about its availability the dog based information and ready to accept the client request 
so the client application has a dfc dot property file under the web inf classes uh, which store the dog broker host and port to connect the repository using the session dog broker pick up the content server uh, if more than one are available then uh, then based on the indexing it will pick up and uh, it will check whether the repository is available or not so based on the selection criteria it will pick up the uh, correct dog broker uh, content server through the dog broker information and it will make the connection happen the content server retrieve the request from the dog base via the dog broker then create a session so it's a, a three tier uh, client server architecture so the uh, in first tier is the user or the client then the second tier will be the dog broker and third tier will be the content server thanks for attending the session on the ecm overview please share your feedback and contact us for the queries related to the course scope uh, schedule references cost and the payments options are everything will be there on the site email is the info at the rate mindmagics.com uh, and the contact number are specified in the ppt thanks a lot